Hi friends, being a pathology resident is not easy. You are supposed to have knowledge about every disease. So the list of books to read are extensive. Initially you will feel lost unless you receive a good guidance. You need to know that the books to read can be broadly divided into following branches of pathology. Histopathology, Cytopathology, Hematology, Blood Bank and Autopsy. If you like this video, please do subscribe. Today we will be dealing with the books to read for cytology. Disclaimer, these books have been useful to me. This advice is based on my exposure as a pathology resident. Cytology books can be divided into three types. Those which tell you technique, those which help you diagnose, and those which help you approach a case, that is provide flowcharts. All three types of books are needed to master this subject. An icing on the cake is having experienced staff to guide you on the FNAC techniques. For sample processing techniques, I suggest cost diagnostic cytology and its histopathologic basis. It has a purple cover, comes in two volumes. I suggest you open these books and read it if you find them good. The reading material should be compatible with you. Also inquire the medical bookstore if new volumes will come in future. The textbook procedure generally differs from what is being followed in your laboratory. So your lifesavers are kit inserts in the reagent packs and also the standard of procedure in your laboratory. Value your technicians. They give you practical information which even the consultants won't know. For FNAC techniques, experienced staff and senior colleagues along with diagnostic books can help. The most commonly used book to read for diagnosis is Oral Fine Needle Aspiration Cytology. The next two books are uh, suggested for diagnosis and reference. It can also be used to read about fluid cytology. We follow various systems for reporting particular samples. For example, for Gynepap, we use this Bethesda system of reporting cervical cytology. For thyroid, we use Bethesda system for reporting thyroid cytopathology. For salivary gland, we use the Milan system for reporting salivary gland cytopathology. For urine cytology, we use the Paris system for reporting urinary cytology. For learning approach to a case, I found Diagnostic Cytology by Pranab Dev very helpful. If you like this video, please share the content. Do not forget to subscribe. Comment on what next video you want us to make.